Ever thought about all the junk we've left floating around in space? Mm. Well, today, we're diving into something even weirder Martian archaeology. Hmm. Yeah, archaeology, but on Mars. Mm. No ancient civilizations, no buried cities. Right. Just a whole lot of our old stuff just kind of scattered around up there. It's interesting because when most people think about archaeology, they think about digging up old stuff right. Exactly. But on Mars, it's all just kind of laying around on the surface. Every mm. single thing from spacecraft parts to rover tracks is basically a footprint of our journey to this other planet. It's like we started a giant interplanetary yard sale back in 1971 mm. and just never came back to pack it up. And since then, we've been littering the red planet with, well, everything spacecraft parts parachutes rovers yeah but there's this paper in nature astronomy the emerging archaeological record of mars that says it's not just trash right it's like a historical record call it like a time capsule that's exactly what it is they call it emerging for a reason because it is emerging and will continue to emerge as we explore it's a record of how our tech has advanced our slip-ups and all our big dreams for space I mean, imagine, just imagine finding a solar panel from Pathfinder, one of the early missions. Well, yeah. You could learn so much from that, like how it degraded, which could help us build even better, more durable solar panels for, I don't know, maybe for Martian settlements someday. That's pretty mind blowing. But hold on, wouldn't it cost a fortune to try to preserve all that stuff? Like, how do we even decide what to save and what to just leave there. Yeah, no, it definitely brings up some logistical headaches. You have the shifting sands, for example. Oh, oh, yeah. The paper actually talks about the Spirit Rover and how it's slowly being buried by a dune field. Oh, no. It just goes to show you Mars is constantly changing. Those artifacts, well, they're not just going to sit there politely forever. And then there's those wild dust storms, right? Mm -hmm. Where they, they can cover the whole planet. That's going to make finding anything a total nightmare. Yeah, it really does. And that's not even mentioning the cosmic radiation, those tiny super energetic particles that constantly hit Mars. All that stuff takes its toll and makes preservation a real challenge. Mars doesn't have a strong magnetic field like Earth does, so it's just getting bombarded. So it's almost like Mars itself is trying to scrub away our footprints little by little. Yeah. Okay, so let's say we do find some of this Martian debris. What can we actually learn from it? I mean, other than its historical significance, of course. Well, think about it this way. Studying how materials break down in such a harsh environment could be incredibly useful for designing future missions. It's like a crash course in what works and what doesn't on Mars. Huh. Like, we could learn how to build tougher spacecraft, pick materials that can handle the Martian weather, and just generally make things that last longer. Every mission to Mars, whether it's a success or, you know, not quite, it leaves a lesson behind. That's so true. But the source material also brought up something kind of creepy. It's about those Earth microbes on Mars. What's the story there? Yeah, that's a valid concern. Yeah. There are these tiny, super tough organisms called extremophiles, right? Well, some scientists think they might have hitched a ride on our spacecraft and, get this, actually survived on Mars. And there's research based on simulations that suggest it really is possible. So we might have accidentally brought life to another planet. Wow. That's got to raise some serious questions about how we explore space, right? Absolutely. It adds a whole new dimension to the conversation. We have a responsibility to make sure we're not messing with any potential Martian life that might already be there. It might even mean rethinking how we approach exploration in the future, taking extra precautions and just being more careful. Finding a balance between like exploring and protecting the planet is going to be key. So what we're learning is that Martian archaeology is not just about old robots and pieces of landing gear. It's really about understanding human history, our technological journey, mm -hmm. and yeah, maybe even some of the unintended consequences of what we've done. Yeah, and as we keep pushing further out into space, understanding and preserving these traces of our early exploration, well, it's just gonna be more and more important. It helps us learn from the past, make smarter choices for the future, and ultimately, I think it helps us understand our own place in the grand scheme of things. Wow, that's pretty deep stuff. Makes you think, huh, well, here's something else to ponder. If, and maybe even when, we finally set up shop on Mars, what will all our stuff say about us to future generations? Like, what kind of stories will our junk tell? That's a great question. Right. And it's one that we'll have to keep asking ourselves as we continue to explore the cosmos. Look like a cosmic message in a bottle, just waiting to be discovered. Exactly.